Hey everyone, welcome back to the Daily Grace channel. We are heading into the best season of the entire year, which is Christmas season. And with that comes the celebration of Advent. So today we're gonna to talk about how you can celebrate Advent with your family this year. Advent is such a sweet season of anticipation and excitement as we look forward to Christmas Day and the celebration of the birth of Jesus. Advent means coming. So during this time, we look back at the first Advent, which was Jesus's birth, and we look forward to his second Advent when he returns. This season is so fun to celebrate with your family, whether you have kids or not. And the Daily Grace Co. has some awesome resources that you can use throughout the season to make celebrating Advent even more practical. Today, we're gonna to talk about four different ways that you and your family can celebrate Advent this year. So first is doing an Advent study together as a family. If you were able to get our Advent study waiting for the Savior while it was still in stock, it's a great study to do as a family. It comes in a women's version and a men's version, so you could go through it with your spouse. And it's a four-week study that details the genealogy of Jesus and God's plan to bring forth the Messiah. In addition to the adult studies, we have a family and kids devotional called Waiting for Jesus that you can go through as a family. It's basically a kid's version of the adult study, and it has so many cute activities to do with your kids. The second thing you can do is to regularly pray together as a family throughout the Advent season. Pray for God to keep your eyes focused on the true meaning of this Advent season. Pray that your children's eyes would be opened to the goodness of God and the gift of His Son. Pray for God to bring your family closer as you go through this season and pray for Him to draw you all closer to His heart as you celebrate the greatest gift we could ever receive. Our Prayers for Advent journal is also a great companion for this because it gives you space to write your prayers during the Advent season. You can write out some and have your spouse or your kids write some as well. And it would be such a sweet keepsake to have for the future to look back on what your kids wanted to pray for during this Advent season. The third thing you can do, and one of my favorite things to do with my kids during Advent, is to make a prayer garland. So you cut out 24 green and red construction paper strips. And on each strip, you write the name of a family member or a friend or a ministry and you staple the strips as links into one long garland. And you hang the garland in your apartment or your house as a decoration. And then every day in December, have a family member remove one of the paper strips. As a family, pray for the person or ministry whose name is on that strip of paper. This is such a fun activity to get the kids involved with. And not only is it a great way to celebrate Advent, but it's a great way to show your kids the importance and the power of prayer. And fourth, you can use any of the Daily Grace Co. Advent resources, like our Advent ornaments. Each day leading up to Christmas, you can hang an ornament on that tree that signifies a corresponding lesson in the Advent study. These are so great for kids, and our family plans on having a small Advent tree this year where we will hang these ornaments. You can also use our candle cards, which are an awesome way to get your kids involved with Advent. They're cards that also correspond with the study, but instead of lighting a candle like you do with the adult study, your kids color in the candle's flame. There are so many ways to celebrate Advent with your family, and these ideas are just some of the things that I plan on doing with my own family this year. If you have other ideas and ways to celebrate Advent with your family, leave us a comment and let us know. We would love to hear from you and hear how you plan on celebrating the upcoming season. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you next time.